Vortex here, welcome to my review of the Nainka Light Pro, if I pronounce that correctly. As a full disclaimer, as usual, the, uh, this was sent out to me by the company. I was not paid anything for this video, and all the thoughts and opinions are my own. And yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, thanks for Nainka for reaching out to me. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I do apologise. The best gift. Uh, quite a large box to be honest. Update your sound experience. Well, we'll see about that. So, mine are the white ones. They are half in-ear design, which I'll obviously show you in a bit. Bluetooth, these are actually Bluetooth 5.2 as far as I'm actually aware. Uh, they do AAC in Aptex and they do SBC. ENC noise cancellation. Um, later on in the video, I do have a microphone recording. 13mm drivers are quite big. Dual hosts, so they can both be the host and the, the weight of 4 grams. Yeah, let's open it up. Quite a nice, kind of quite premium. So, yeah, as you see, the box, I don't have large hands, but as you can see, it's it's actually quite a big box. Mine is the white one. Let's take this out. Easier said than done. Okay. So in there should be charge cable and the manual. It's the case itself. Type C, which is good. Obviously that, that's the charge indicator and things like that. And I think that's I think that's it. So I'll quickly show you this. That's it, so it's quite plain. Now I've already previously paired this to my phone, so now I even took them out. Opening the lid will pair to my phone, which is my which is a Power F2 Pro. So kind of a ne negative thing is a very generic design, but that's the, the touch controls that them by my thumb is the, you know, the indicator, two charge connectors, and I do have two microphones beside. If you focus. See, it's trying to, it's trying to pair. So very, very generic design, which is, which is, not that great to be honest but they do work well I should, they should have gone for something a bit more original but do, as a product they actually do work fine so you can't, I can't really say too much charge cable kind of average not that long but it should be enough to plug into a computer or adapter or whatever you you've got there and this is the uh, the user manual which I'll show you in the next clip so the user guide each one has a uh, touch button no not a real button but you, you understand what I mean so identifying key parts as you can see they do have two microphones each and as, as like I said before, there is a microphone clip coming, which actually these is a slight spoiler. They, they actually do sound pretty good. So charging lights, which are important, red th under thirty percent, blue thirty to sixty, and green is sixty, and up to a hundred. So red, blue, green. And when the when you've just used the buds and you put them back in, that will light up white. Um, that's an, a slight negative is that's actually quite bright the LED light, but at least it's very obvious so Getting starts or getting started Very easy to pair. There's a multifunction buttons So tap twice either them to play or pause Previous and next track Hold it for two seconds and hold the left one for two seconds to go back Tap once for volume. Tells you to use the voice assistance. How to end the call. And now the game mode, which is 
this is where this is quite unique and they do actually does actually drop the latency but it says in the state of it but to connect with the phone tap right to turn on the game mode and it will, it will say go go and roger that it will turn it off when you put it back into the case the game mode like i said actually does work quite well but you do lose battery life about that but i'll talk about it in a second and there's a way of just resetting the actual earbuds there on the bottom is a to use the assistance so you have to use the left button three times to the assistant then you have to do the right one three times for the actual uh, game mode so yeah, as you can see Qualcomm QCC 3040 that's one of the reasons why I actually said yes to try this because it's a quality chipset Bluetooth 5.2 frequency range Bluetooth range 10 meters that's fine sensitivity the battery of the actual buds the case input playtime playtime you get about six hours and then you get it with the game mode on and then you get roughly seven with it off but all obviously all depends on volume and things like that faq and troubleshooting safety rules and this is the same just in chinese so yeah the next clip you're going to hear now is just of the actual microphone itself this is just a quick mic test of the nanka light pro I've set it at 40% in Windows 10, and this is what I sound like. I'm in a quiet room. I'm actually speaking quite quiet because the microphones are actually quite efficient, so you have to turn them down. And this is just what I sound like. Sounds quite clear, very efficient, and these are in stereo mode, so I'm using both. So actually onto the review part. Like just, you just heard the microphones. I think they actually sound pretty good. Um, which again something I was quite happy with take these out so they do say left and right so this is the left one Mike that's the microphone there this microphone are there the two connectors obviously for charging status LED you can use these can be used individually as well they're obviously a half in ear obviously kind of design kind of generic knocking which is kind of a little bit bad but doesn't really matter if they work well they're meant to use ceramic antennas but from the quality of the actual the signal quality that it i.e works perfectly fine i had no dropouts whatsoever they do have a game mode which will eat around an hour's worth of battery life but that obviously that can depend on a few factors and it does actually work it does drop the latency um yeah, so let's go on to the actual fit. So it's a half in ear kind of design, as you can see. So as a negative of that, you'll have less isolation, well, next to no isolation, and you'll lose some bass response. So they do have enough kind of, they do have a warmer sound, which I'll get to in a second, but you will, you will lose that kind of sub bass through design. But as a positive, that means you, they don't isolate so you can hear your surroundings which obviously if it's that's good or bad um yeah so the actual fit i had no issues at all um obviously you may or may not have an issue because it's obviously a generic shape to fit all ears but let's go on to the sound so these actually sounded a bit different to what i was expecting these are more of a mid sound mid forward sound they're not a bright pair of earphones. They're probably mid with a bit of warmth to them. So they do have a bit of mid bass, not, not a lot, but just smooth mid sound is probably the best way to describe it. For so for actual speech, these things sounded really good and very, there's no fatigue whatsoever. Um, it's quite, quite good to listen to some that's actually quite different or not V-shaped. These definitely are not V-shaped. They're a smooth sound is probably the best way to put it. Um, touch button there, like I've already said in the earlier in the video, very easy to use. Obviously, make sure you don't press it by accident when you adjust it, because obviously it's in that section there. Um, yeah, so sound, everything was very clear, but they're not bright earphones. If you're like a treble head, these aren't for you. Um, they, they do seem to work quite well in a lot of different genres. 
which, which I was quite happy with. They're obviously very light. The case um, is very compact, as you can see, it's only that tall. So, as a rough example, these are the MPO T5s, as you can see, a bit of a difference in case. Um, combined battery life is, I think it's supposed to be 28, but again, it depends on your volume level and all sorts of things like that. So that's a rough ballpark figure, obviously combined of that and that. But yeah, very smooth, fatigue-free sound. Probably good for any like if you're doing like Zoom calls at the moment, um, because you obviously they don't isolate, but they do have a good microphone and they do sound very smooth and very clear. Um, yeah, of sound stage was sound stage on certain parts was actually okay, on other parts is kind of average. Obviously, isolation is zero of its design. Imaging I thought was actually okay. The game mode, um, like I said, works quite fine. You have to obviously tap it three times on the right one. Like it says go go, and then you press it again. It will say Roger that. That's when it comes up and kind of it kind of sounds like a Call of Duty uh, kind of quote kind of voice. I tried to capture it, but the microphone wouldn't pick it up. But um, when you do use the command, it is very clear. But as an overall sound, I found these actually, um, yeah, not too bad at all. Kind of smooth, mid mid kind of presentation. Not upper mid forward, just all the mids kind of forward. Um, yeah, kind of opposite to a V-shaped tu tuning. They sound the opposite to me. Obviously, I don't know how these graph, but I was quite happy with how they sound. I say only four grams. Functionality works fine. They paired to my phone perfectly fine. It brings it up as Aptex. And yeah, on to the actual conclusion. So my conclusion of the Nanka Light Pros is they are those kind of better than I expected. Real negative you can see is the kind of generic shape, but they do have Bluetooth 5.2. And they do use the Qualcomm 3040, which obviously is Bluetooth 5.2. Um, known quality chipset. As you can see, they are half in here, which is either positive or negative. A positive is um, you can hear your surroundings. Kind of a negative is bass response is not the best because it doesn't seal very well. Um, quite good microphones. Um, yeah, there's actually a better product than I expected. So I, to be honest, I did not know what to expect as I'd never really heard of the brand before. So yeah, these are actually, uh, they're not bad at all. Very smooth, kind of mid, mid forward sound. There is a bit of treble roll off and sub bass roll off. It's more mids with a bit of warmth to it. But overall for my use case and for me using them for talking, very smooth kind of fatigue free sound and yeah. Thanks for watching and take care.